model is completely custom and uses an estimate of around a thousand parts. The length is nearly more than one foot. And the wingspan is nearly one foot as well. But of course it's shorter. This massive intercontinental super bomber could fly at nearly Mach 3, which is three times the speed of sound. Auto features detailed cockpit, a landing gear, and bomb bays. How can I forget the side folding wing tips? Starting off with the nose. The nose is, well, nice. Cockpit can be easily accessed like this. Inside the cockpit, you can see one main seat for the pilot, the flight engineer. The pilot's area has a detailed uh, tit piece, so it's pretty good. Close the cockpit's top. Moving back, here we have the entire design blending into the wing. The wing has started over here, and this is the end. Here are the notable wings, as well as the front wing tips. And how can we forget about the six massive engines at the rear? About the folding wing tips, they can be easily folded down as well as the other side. After flipping the aircraft over, you can see a lot of stuff going on the underside. Most notably, you can see the landing gear as well as the bomb base. Front landing gear is very straightforward, just folded in like that. But the rear ones are pretty similar. Fold them in. Just like that. This is the view. You can see the landing gear sitting inside the aircraft's body. They nearly go in pretty well now to the bomb bay. Two openable doors. Let's open them up now. Inside you can see two big bombs in there. Here's a little sneak from the engine intakes. This model is very stable. You can actually lift it over, switch it around, and it's solid. And you can roll it around. It's pretty solid here. It's best on a flat surface. I mean, a smooth surface, of course. Well, that's all for this Mac 3 Super Bomber here. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Press the bell icon if you want to see more updates on this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.